Welcome everyone, Scott Nunes here, your educational technology coach, and I would like to share with you a helpful app smash to help students be able to self-assess and to engage and get some real world practice with presenting. Now, you could do this in any content area. And what we're going to cover today is how to use Flipgrid and Microsoft PowerPoint's Presenter Coach in order to do that. So without further ado, here we go. So uh, right here, you can go ahead and see a video of me. I've gone ahead and gone into Microsoft's Flipgrid and in a separate tab, I have Microsoft PowerPoint online ready to go and I have a sample slide. Uh, you'll have to just kind of uh, give me benefit of the doubt here and just pretend that there is uh, something here like a student may use. And then what they're going to use uh, from this drop down here is this rehearse with coach feature. This is called the Microsoft PowerPoint presenter coach going to go ahead and click that on and you could set up your Flipgrid to start recording uh, as well. So let me actually go ahead and start doing that. You would do that first. So this is recording and then I'm going to go ahead and turn on the presenter coach and start rehearsing. And what's really nice about this is it's going to be a quick feedback system that lets students know how their pacing is, whether or not they're speaking too slow, or possibly too fast. So I do notice that the slow feature uh, it's a little rough. If they are speaking monotone, it'll let them know that. A really easy trigger. Uh, so it's letting me know, keep going. <laughs> and it's letting me know I'm using too many fillers like ums, ahs, likes, things like that. If I were to use an expletive, uh, a curse word, then it may also suggest that I use a different word. So that's really good at gently modifying and correcting uh, behavior. And it's an added benefit because it's not coming from uh, the teacher. It keeps it very objective and on purpose and on point. And it's letting me know again, you're saying too many ums. So that's something I really need to work on. Now I'm going to go ahead and try and tackle the speaking fast feature, but that one's a little difficult for me because you have to speak faster than about 160 words a minute, but here I go. So once again, I'm Scott Nunes and I'm sharing out an app smash between Flipgrid and Microsoft PowerPoint Presenter Coach. I hope that this is a benefit to you. If you would like some more uh, uses for this, please don't hesitate to reach out and contact me at noons.sc at monet.k12.ca.us. And as you can see, I'm still not speaking fast enough to trigger that. So I'll say the same thing, <laughs> but regularly, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop this. And let's see the report we have. I'm going to click this and it let me know my total time spent, slides rehearsed. It gives me my average pacing over time. So you could see, ah, uh, I barely went over, it didn't, trigger that warning, but I could self-assess and learn that, um, you know, I went over here. And then of course, let me know, ooh, I have to sound a little more polished and confident and try to avoid using filler words. So that's something I need to work on. And it let me know, no sensitive phrases. So great job there. And repetitive language, ooh. So I used a lot of the same words, try new synonyms. And that's where you could bring in additional tools like thesaurus.com to look up synonyms and maybe even antonyms uh, for words. A great uh, ELA tie-in uh, and it can be done with any subject, not just ELA. It lets me know I have a low pitch variation, which will make my audience lose interest. So I have to be very careful and you can see where that occurred. So I'm in the target range, it looks like, 
but there are some things I can work on, right? Particularly when I'm using those filler words, I tend to pause a little bit, slow down. If I just spoke at a more consistent pace, that would really help me. And so uh, I'm already benefiting from this tool and you can too. So uh, a great way to just start implementing this is if you're doing like a web quest type activity or having students read something, have them just give you a quick report back. It doesn't need to be a minute and 53 seconds. It could be 10 seconds. And uh, maybe you can do an edu protocol where you have students create a single slide with one image, one word or phrase, and um, they could share out their rationale behind that, why they chose what they chose and why they chose that. And you can always scale that up. So once again, I'm Scott Nunes, your neighborhood friendly tech coach here at Modesto City Schools. You can reach me at noons.se at monet.k12. Thank you so much, everyone.